So my name is Imogen Cooper. I'm a concert pianist and I have the honor of being chair of the jury. I would just like to say that the word jury has always slightly offended me when it comes to piano competitions because we're not there to say you're guilty or you're innocent. We're really there to give an inf a fairly informed opinion in view of all our joint experience as to whether somebody is really, really good or frankly sensational. There is an element of instinct in choosing who should go forward among the young contestants. We will take it for granted that they will be good pianists, fine pianists already. We will sense, I think, immediately whether they have a, a certain experience of performing in large halls, of projecting, of speaking to the people they are playing for. I myself will be looking for wonderful sound, variety of sound, of color, a natural aptitude at the keyboard, and just that little personal je ne sais quoi, which is absolutely impossible to define. In one way, you've got to be completely objective. But of course, we're listening to poets and, and, and artists, and so we're hoping they're going to move us. And so, in that way, of course, we are subjective and different things move different people. So I think the important thing with a jury is to have a very good mixture. And so we approach it from different angles. And of course, we don't all agree, but we never know that because we have a very strict rule at the Leeds, we don't discuss. We never, never discuss any of the competitors among ourselves. So in fact, we never know what our colleagues are thinking at all until it comes to the voting. I found this most impressive when I was on the jury three years ago and it works astonishingly well. It doesn't mean to say that we don't actually come to a fairly unanimous decision on the important points. So, but it's quite a strain on us. We're all staying at the same hotel. You know, we meet for breakfast. <laughs> what do we talk about? I don't know, football or something, but not the competition. <laughs> not being a pianist, Makes, makes in some way some kind of advantage for me because I can really remote myself completely from the technical details and really focus on the, you know, the, 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 the voice, the, the relationship, the counterpoint, the voice leading, the sound, the, the, the form, the overall arch of, of a piece of music. A competition sometimes can be a little frightening in the sense that it can limit your ability to be yourself. And I think what we want is to be seduced by a musical voice and by someone that has the courage to be, to, to be themselves, you know, throughout the whole, the whole round. So my hopes are not only that we uh, help the right people to go forward, but for even for those who don't go forward, that they should realize that in the grand scale of things, we will still be hearing them elsewhere on concert platforms in the future, and that they should be incredibly proud that they have got so much important repertoire under their belts at a very high standard that they will have forever. So the word failure in this competition will not come into it. It really will not. Uh, it will be success and further success.